this is Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. A very typical yet common question um, among um, all ages is what is better, chew to chew, gum or mints? The question really has to deal with, first of all, ensuring that whatever you're having does not have anything other than xylitol. Certainly the other sugars can certainly not only cause decay and cavities, but also are, of course, a um, contraindications for situations and systemic profiles like diabetes. In terms of differentiating between what is better, a mint or a gum, in the presence of other conditions that include, for instance, um, temporal mandibular disorders, or perhaps a predisposition to migraines, or history of migraines, or history of facial tension, whatever the manifestation is, of course, chewing harder foods, as well as increased frequency of chewing, can predispose to certain of those symptoms to be even more manifested in larger quantities and, of course, intensities. So the wise thing to do is, of course, enjoy the flavor that um, you are um, hoping to, to have. Uh, mint is always the ideal, of course, flavor to ensure that you get a little bit of therapeutic impact on the microbacterial and the oral flora of the mouth. But at the same time, less chewing is always ideal. A softer um, mint is better than a harder mint to protect the dentition as well and still get the therapeutic effect that we want and of course the, the cleansy, um, fresh feeling that we are all um, enjoying after having it. For more information, please don't hesitate to contact us at www.dclaserdentist.com.